arguably one of the best 36 hours here at my time. You hit like a twenty thousand dollar Gatorade bottle shot. I don't know the number. <laughs> <laughs> On his IQ level is out of this world, and to be in a meeting and then be like, I, you know, you're like, I'm kind of smart too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for the brand. If I was a punter, I'd be for the brand too. I'd be like, this one's going deep. <laughs> what is elite? Why are you guys elite? And why is that the most important word in the dictionary for Minnesota Gophers? Uh, first of all, it's a lifestyle, right? And it's a standard. The Navy SEALs call themselves elite. Now, we define elite as a necktie mentality, a prefontaine face, and a farmer's alliance. The great white shark is a necktie. It always attacks and it's never full. It's never satisfied. Uh, put on shit diggers down down Texas. Free pair of cowboy boots. Best comment in Zito's eyes. Yeah! Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah! So whether that's academically, athletically, socially, spiritually, it's never satisfied. Hmm. Navy SEAL can fight on land, water, and air. They are never satisfied. Then the Prefontaine base is just we want them to do things urgently. There's no procrastination in this program. Zero. Whatever you can do tomorrow, find a way to do it today. And then the last part's the Farmers Alliance, and that's about trust. We're going to learn about these bears. Sick them, guys. Sick them. Sick them. My farm is right next to your farm. Your farm is just as important to my as mine because the seeds of corn are on top. And the wind will dictate what our crop is like. So you have to take care of each other and you have to love each other. It's just finding a way to be better today than you were yesterday and fighting human nature. Coach, <laughs> you just made me want to neck on through a wall, bro. <laughs> no, it's not about the national anthem. It wasn't even about the flag. It was just about what was going on in the black community or the brown community. Looking from a 30,000 foot view, I believe it helped our country. I believe it was something where we had two very different sides of people normally never come to an agreement with each other. In the end, I think some good was done from it. I think there was a learning thing that did happen from it. Hey, Joe. No, defensive coordinator Joe. I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was pronounced. Spend $900 for an outfit for tomorrow. My life is incredibly stupid right now. The boys and I are getting to travel around the globe and entertain folks in a stupid fashion. And there's only one company that has had our back through this whole thing through and through, and that's our friends at Roman. And right now, you can get an entire month's supply of the Roman Swipes, the product that makes you last longer in the sack. Yes, if you're gonna fornicate, put on a show in there with your friends from Roman and utilize the Roman Swipes. These small, discreet packages of Swipes show up at your front door. You put them on the kitten caboodle and you put on a show in the sack. Right now, you swipe up and you go to GetRoman.com forward slash working man. You get an entire month's supply of these swipes for just $5. Put on a show this month from your friends at Roman. GetRoman.com forward slash working man. $5 month supply. Go put on a show, bub. I am a cowboy with my belt buckle, my bolo, and my grumpy kickers on my feet. I am hell-bent on figuring it out. Did you see Steph Curry broke his shit? Yeah, something about being raised by lions. Welcome to the judge's boardroom. Find a seat. <laughs> what? 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 Bugger! I think Brady should go out the same way with the Patriots. Just, you know, one team the whole ride. I mean, basically, he's playing with three receivers right now who play quarterback in college. Ain't nobody doing that. But Tom Brady. It's been a nice trip down Nostalgia Lane all week, reminiscing about the great times in Morgantown where I got to ride the coattails of an incredible football team. Sickums! Pat McAfee. Whammy! <laughs> we landed on the moon! I assume those two kids have taken flight plenty of vacation. <laughs> the back.
back, suplex me if you have to. Bang off the helmet, bang off the hands, recovery for West Virginia, and that is why the punt is the most exciting play in football. <laughs> and decides, I'm gonna put my head down and run a guy over. Gets upended, if we don't see that on. Da -da -da, da -da -da. They're doing something wrong at Sports Center with the top 10. You gotta remember, we've had good secondary at WVU throughout the history. Pac-Man Jones, ever heard of it? Little swagger there, big time shot. This is awesome. I'll tip the cap tonight, not only to the Baylor Bears, but mostly to Neil Brown and what he's building in Morgantown. Can't wait to watch the Mountaineers climb back to the top of the mountain. Definitely taking the Ravens. I traded you Trent Richardson for a first round pick. Do you know that? Oh, 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 hell yeah. was that? <laughs> Did you get the hammer out and hammer that? <laughs> Just changing your availability to viewer, you're in Indianapolis now. Did you get to Buffalo? Yeah, I, I got a plane uh, that's supposed to take me down to game day anyway, so I could definitely have it go to Buffalo first. How long is the flight from Indy to Buffalo? You can find us a plane for like 4 o'clock. I think that'll be perfect. It has to be confused in part around 5, 5.30. Okay, do we have any other, can you find any other planes that can get us out of here earlier than that? I was just asked if I could appear in Buffalo within the next four hours to basically do the show on Fox tonight. Okay, I'll call you back. You know what I'm asking for? Yeah. All right, so he's gonna call Jim Mercy and see if I can just use Jim's jet. He's calling me back shortly, but just start packing. Hey. You're the absolute best. Does this sound like a potential yes you're saying? He's the uh, fucking best. I would be so, so thankful. Hey, this is really cool. I don't know how many billionaires would do this for people that have worked for them in the past. This is awesome, and I can't thank you guys enough. Can I take a kendo stick to his back? Uh, we'll talk about it when you can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate you, man. Hey, let's break the fucking internet tonight. <laughs> what a hilarious life. We are live on Fox in six hours and 35 minutes. Three hours of sleep, no clue what the storylines are. Just fucking let the nuts swing, bro. Let's just go out there and have a good time. Plane company. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Here we go, boys. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, oh. That night. This is gonna be a night we're gonna look back on and remember. And then we're gonna hop on a plane and head to Memphis for college game day. <laughs> I think this is a joke too. I just wanna let you know. Like this is the Truman Show. I very much understand that this is not supposed to happen. I got the text at 1.42 p.m. today from Mr. H that says, have you heard there have been some travel issues? Uh, can you make your way to Buffalo? Jim Mersey, owner of the Colts, literally lent me his plane. Might be the most confident I ever dreamed of in something. I didn't know we were that good of friends, to be honest. I was sh I was throwing a Hail Mary, and he responded and said, yeah. So I got here about an hour and a half before the show, and to work with Renee, Tom, and be on SmackDown with a bucket of makeup on my face. This has been a dream come true bucket list type situation here in beautiful Buffalo, New York. Come on, boys, we're gonna be on cable. by Pat McAfee, replacing our guest uh, commentator, Aiden English. No sleeves in, George. Good to see <laughs> you. It feels good here in Buffalo. I got a text from the game, a cerebral WWE official. He said, hey, you might have heard about the travel issues. Can you make it to Buffalo? I said, absolutely. What a magical evening it is, November 1st, 2019. I mean, let's be honest. The Marine was a heater. You know what I mean? Oh. I mean he's a great actor. He was great on the real world. He was great on all of that. Oh. Tiga, no! <laughs> That's right. how they do it in NXT, baby. Almost took me out holding another grown lady in the air. November 1st, 2019, greatest SmackDown in the history of SmackDown. Pat, you're joining us. It might absolutely be correct the way things have gone here tonight. I had no idea what was happening, so it was really just natural reaction to everything. It was awesome, dude. That's a bucket. That's a real bucket list. Thing. Game day bucket list. This is like complete bucket list. Two in one week. Oh yeah. Got a horseshoe shoved up my ass, and a horseshoe owner lending us a plane. Are you kidding me, dude? 
Those jorts are making me cry. I'll tell you what, I walked into the production meeting at game day. I had 45 different looks. They're trying to find me pants. Nothing's open yet, so let the calves breathe here in Memphis, Tennessee. Buffalo, New York with Friday Night Smackdown, and now I get a chance to be amongst the incredible drunks of Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> You know, our fans are incredible. We have the best fans in the world. So when you have a kid come here and see this, it sells itself. So, oh, yeah. T-I-G-E-R-S, Tigers. Let's just say what it is. Tennessee has stunk for a long time. They stink. This Navy team, obviously, honorable American yes. badasses. What they got going on is incredible. But to beat the dog grumpy out of Yukon yes. has to feel good. You had one job. I don't think it is taking your guys like them, especially on the six-yard line. Oh. And bam! Oh! Bam down. I mean, they popped yes. the hammy, possibly towards ACL. One of the most Brutal, gruesome injuries I've ever seen on a football field. I think what you do is you send it back to the main stage with a beautiful shot of Beale Street. On Beale Street. I enjoy the fuck out of it. I have no idea what I'm talking about this time. The train keeps rolling. What a fucking wild, wild, what, 47 hours or something. 43 yard attempt, weight down the middle, no fucking song. It's all races. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We lost a fucking another all-pro quarterback. What are we supposed to do? Now I gotta go and get up and talk about it. I'm gonna have to go to battle, and I will. Do I believe in Hoyer the Destroyer? I have to, I think. I think that Jacoby injury is gonna be a lot worse than we think. Because him just standing there is almost more scary. Oh, how the turntables. Pumped! Stinks! Stinks! Trubisky stinks this year. Vinatieri's gonna drain! No, no! Pulls it way left. What happened? Let's dive deeper. That's what we do on ESPN. When you hit the laces, the ball hangs onto your foot longer like a slingshot and can be sent to a pool no matter what happens. Lamar Jackson is a cheat code. He breaks the code. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do whenever the hell he wants to do it. Freddie Kitchens is a god. I would love to get a beer with. But it looks like he is in way over his head in Cleveland. In the dog pound, Odell Beckham and hopefully Dorsey are saying, this guy stinks. Whenever you look at that franchise as a whole from top to bottom, there's only one word for it, and that's that the Jets stink. Question, who loves their Cavs more, you or Mickelson? I think my Cavs are better than Mickelson's, uh, but if I was Mickelson, I'd love my Cavs as well. Wow. Pat Mack, he's, he, you know what, you're a national treasure. Let's have a Monday. How we doing? How we doing? Hey, let's have a morning. Let's have a morning. How are you? You know, we've got a Super Bowl coming up in Miami. You just hope that coming out of that, it's a conversation about who won and who lost, not why somebody got ripped off by a call. Joe, I have a question. Why do you hate my team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, for the most part, people are nice. But every once in a while, you get a guy walking, going, you hate the Astros, you Suck. You want the Yankees to win, and then you go to New York during the same series, and the guy's behind the plate with a Joe Buck Sucks t-shirt because he thinks that I'm rooting for the Astros. Well, Foxy, it's been another incredible week, Jets. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go back to Indianapolis, record a podcast. It'll be week eight. Eight. Week eight in the books. Probably our most busy one yet. But I think this upcoming week is about to be even more insane. Ring the bell. Let's go.